Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This video is about conservation of AC power. And here we'll be discussing example 11.13 and solving practice problem 11.13. And for this, a student has requested. Okay, so the example 11.13, the figure shows a load being fed by a voltage source to a transmission line. So this is a load. This is voltage source and it is fed by a transmission line. The impedance of the line and the return path is represented by O plus J2. So this is the total line impedance. We have to find the real power and the active power absorbed by the source, the line and the load. So first of all, keep in mind that we'll be using these two formulas. To calculate the complex power, we use VRMS into IRMS conjugate. And from there, we can calculate the real power and reactive power by using this formula that S is equal to P plus JQ, where P is real power and Q is reactive power. The first part, find the real power and reactive power absorbed by the source. So we'll be using this formula, we have the V given but we need current and for current we have to find the total impedance then voltage divided by total impedance will calculate current so let's see the total impedance adding these two and you can use uh, your calculator in complex mode and doing all the calculations so let me just show you uh, first of all you have to make sure you press alpha, then mode, and then two for complex. So now your calculator is in complex mode. And now we'll simply plug in these values. So four plus J2, we'll write two I, this is I sign, two I, then plus 15 minus J10, so plus 15 minus 10 i equal sign so this is in rectangular form 19.8 and 19 minus 8 j or 8 i we, we can convert this into polar form by going passing shift and complex then select in 3 for r and theta 3 equal sign so this is the answer but this answer is in uh, under root form to get into the proper form, we'll press SD. So now it is 20.615, so 20.62, angle minus 22.83. So you follow this technique in, for solving all these questions uh, directly. Okay, so Z we have found. Now we'll calculate I. I is V over Z. The same technique, let me again show it. For this, now we'll select this deviant sign, 220 angle 0, 220, there's no point writing angle 0, divided by 20.62, 20.62, angle minus 22.83, now shift angle minus 22.83. So this is done. Move forward equal sign. So this is again in uh, rectangular form. We convert into polar. Shift complex. 3 for R theta. Equal sign. And again it is in some fraction form. So we'll just press SD. Now you can see it is 10.669, so 10.67, and the angle is 22.83. So this is how we'll proceed. Okay, now that we have found current, we'll use this formula. We know V, and we will just write this I in conjugate form by changing the sign. So S, S are the source power, VSIS 220, 0, 
I is 1067, just change the sign for the conjugate and solving will get this answer. We will prefer that it be in the rectangular form because we write this P plus JQ. So this is P or the real part and this is Q or the reactive part. So the answer will be the real power is 2163.5 watt and the reactive power is minus 910.8 VAR, volt ampere reactive. Okay, the second part exactly same way for the line we have to find. Now we have known, we have known the current, so we will first of all find this voltage, I into Z line, I we know. So we have to use this formula V line into I. V line we can find from Z line into I, plugging in the values. And now the S line is V line I conjugate. So this value of V line and I with the negative sign here. So this is S line power. And this is the real part and this is imaginary part for the uh, reactive part. So 455.4 watt. And this is 227.76 VAR. And the third part is for the load. Same technique. We need to calculate V load. V load is Z load into I. This is Z into I. So this is V load. Now SL is VL I conjugate. Same technique VL and I conjugate with the negative sign. And now this is VA. So this is the real part and this is the reactive part. So 1708 watt and this is 1139 VAR. So this is the uh, first question. And if you want to verify the conservation, then the supplied power should be equal to the line plus load power. And you can see that this is the supplied power, this was the line and this is load. And adding, you will have approximately uh, uh, same answer on both sides. The total power supplied by the source equals the total power delivered to the load. That is the power con conservation theorem is valid. Now practice problem 1113. This is the circuit given. The only information given is that the 60 ohm resistor absorbs an average power of 240. So from we know the power absorbed, therefore we can find this current. And from this current, we can find the voltage across this. It will be same voltage across here. So from there, we'll find the second current or the current this in this branch. And then we can find the total current. Let's see. We need to find the voltage V and the complex power of each branch of the circuit. So this is the first part. Let us mark the circuit with the currents and voltages. We call this I1, this one I2, this voltage V0, which is across both the branches. They are in parallel. This I'm calling V20 voltage across this. And I is I1 plus I2, sum of two. So the current I2 also flows through the 60 ohm resistor. So this current flowing through here. We can use the power formula to find this current I2. So we'll write P is equal to I square into R. So I is P over R, that's four. And therefore I or I2 is two ampere. And now we know I2, therefore we can find uh, the V naught, I2 multiplied by this impedance. So this is our V naught. Okay, so we know I2, we have found uh, uh, V0 also. So now we can calculate I1. So I1 is V over now this impedance. So this is I1. And now we can find total current. I is I1 plus I2. So this is the total current. 
We can also find the voltage drop here. V20 is I into 20. So this is V20 voltage. And now we know the voltage drop here and the voltage drop here. Therefore, we can find the total voltage. So V is V20 plus V0, adding the two voltages. This is V. And now we have all the information to calculate the power. So complex power. Power in this branch S20, V20 into I conjugate, V20 uh, we have got from here, and I total, this is I, we'll just change the sign for the conjugate. So this is the power in uh, S20 branch or uh, across 20 ohm resistance. Then S1 here, the power here, we know the current, we know the voltage. So V0 into I1 conjugate, just following the same procedure, just sending the sign. Similarly, I2 is V2 I2 conjugate. Since I2 has no angle, so therefore the conjugate will not change. And so this is S2. So all three powers we have found. Now the part of the question also says to find what is the overall complex power. Now, the overall complex power, we can just add all these three to find, or we can use V and I formula. So here I'm using V and I formula. So we know the total voltage, we know the total current, change the sign. So this is the uh, total power. And if you add, you will have the same result. So the power of conservation theorem should be valid here. So I hope you have been able to follow this. Uh, please let me know through your comments. Thank you.